Hey guys, speak up, Norseman. As we know, the final official trailer for Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice officially came out yesterday. And last night, and even today, I've been working really hard to get the key moments for the official trailer, you know, done for you guys and everything, so you guys can hear my thoughts and what I thought of this final trailer. Just to, before we go in detail, I thought it was an absolutely amazing trailer. Definitely, you know, a huge improvement off of the last trailer that happened, which caused a lot of controversy with Doomsday. But they didn't reveal anything, pretty much, that was, you know, going to be, like, a huge spoiler or anything. And it was a pretty damn good trailer to get everyone back more hyped for the movie. So let's go for it, shall we? Well, pretty much the key moments of it, basically, was definitely, obviously, you know, Superman versus Batman, mainly in this, you know, trailer. As you can see, pretty much with the action scenes and stuff, like, obviously, as you can see here, Batman and Superman are squared up, and then pretty much after that, Batman basically gets pushed by Superman really hard. Then also, here's another look at pretty much Superman trying to hit Batman, but he gets really shocked that the armored suit is actually really strong. Now, a lot of people have been saying that potentially, what if that, you know, maybe Batman has been working secretly with Lex Luthor to defeat Superman? So, basically, maybe he gave him kryptonite and put it in the suit to make him really strong. And maybe that's why every time we see toys, there's kryptonite guns and everything. So, maybe, maybe that could be the secret of what's going on. And that's why... At, at the end of the day, this is why I think, you know, the whole truth about Lex is going to get revealed eventually, because I don't think Batman, obviously, is not going to trust Lex Luthor and find out the truth of what's really going on. But here's a scene with, uh, also, with, um, you know, Clark Kent with Lois Lane and everything having, let's say, <laughs> a little bit of fun in the bathtub. But ever, also, also, here's some more, you know, action scenes, basically. Oh, also, here's um something we've already kind of seen, but as we know, we saw this official image released like weeks ago about, you know, obviously the dark side sign, pretty much teasing dark sides coming and everything. A lot of people think this is the desert scene and a lot of people, I think they did confirm it's going to be a nightmare sequence which teases like the future and everything. Now, a lot of people are saying it's dark side. I do believe this is a tease towards dark side, but of course it's way too early for a villain as big as him. Hell, he's like the biggest villain of the DC universe, especially when it comes to being similar to Thanos and everything. So yeah. But um, also, here's a look at Alfred, and he was very, very awesome, Jeremy Irons, in the um, in the trailer and stuff. You got to see more of the way this uh, Alfred is like, and he was pretty cool. I think uh, the one that everyone was really talking about uh, the most was obviously Gal Gadot's, you know, Wonder Woman voice for the franchise and the cinematic universe. And let's say um, it sounded like, I don't know, it, it kind of sounded like an, an exotic you know, American accent. That's what it sounded like to me. A lot of people said she sounded British, some people said she sounded foreign, and some people said she sounded American, but to me it kind of sounded like a bit of exoticness to that voice and everything, but American at the same time, which I think is kind of cool and goes with her, because if you actually know her in real life, her voice in interviews, she's actually got an Israeli accent, you know, because she's from Israel, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but um, yeah, her scenes were pretty cool in the trailer, and it was great to hear her talk, plus also you know, it kind of showed you, like, you know when you actually see her at the end of the third trailer, it shows her what she does straight after that, so it looks like she jumps at Doomsday and everything, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, this trailer was amazing, especially when Batman, you know, was literally doing all the action scenes and everything against all those, you know, uh, pretty much scumbags and everything. It literally was probably one of the best, actually, no, not one of the best, probably the best at Batman action scene that we've ever seen live action like it was like f it was like freaking from the video games of the arkham games it was so amazing and in every time we see more and more of this batman he does look like he's going to be literally a really hugely comic book accurate batman it's just fantastic to see finally but yeah i give this trailer definitely a big thumbs up it was great it was a great tease for the movie and everything that's coming out next month. Huge improvement. Didn't show any spoilers whatsoever. You know, they showed a few new scenes and everything, but it was pretty damn good. And obviously, you know, Ben Affleck, you know, has some great chemistry with, looks like, great chemistry with Gal Gadot and also Henry Cavill. So I can't wait to see the Trinity together and everything. We still haven't seen Superman and Wonder Woman together, I've noticed, which I think makes sense because, you know, he's going to be spending more time with Lois Lane and, you know, Batman's going to be spending more time with, with Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman. So yeah. But this was a really good trailer and I'm so excited and I can't wait for the movie next month and everything. And obviously to see how it builds up to Justice League Part 1 next year. And yeah, so yeah. Leave a like and comment for your opinions. Subscribe for more videos and more guys. And bye.